G'day people, this is George Tasker of the Boomer Nerds and today I've decided for the first time ever to try and do an unboxing. This particular device is a Braytech Bracknack Technology monitor mount. As you can see it holds a couple of monitors at once and I found that this was going to be useful in the particular situation that I'm currently running. So what I'm going to do now is I've already sliced open the first bit of uh, tape. There's a couple of other bits that need to be sliced open. Oh, there's one there, one there. Now I'm going to open up this little baby and we'll see what we've got in here. I've put one of these together a prior time and seems to have worked out okay for me. In here is a little sheet which tells us how all the various bits and pieces are supposed to go together. Okay. So can't, they've labelled all of these nuts and bolts just up the top here and they've given them telling us how many we should find in here we've got ma mb mc md me mf and we're supposed to use one of these but i'm going to use something a little different seeing i already have tools that i particularly like to use okay so let us begin to slowly unbox this. So there's a bit of packing there, just to fill in the empty space. I guess they don't want things to move around too much. One of the guides which is gonna to use to try and keep cables together. Okay, and this is part of the base for covering up the base to make it look pretty. Okay. Now some of this is actually quite heavy, it's surprising how heavy it's going to be. So I'll pull that out, that's one of the arms which we'll look at later. I don't know whether that goes to top or bottom, but we'll figure that out. And this looks like a second arm. If I were to look at them, they kind of look almost identical with some exceptions. Yeah, no, close enough to identical. If you flip this uh, bit around to the other way, it will be pretty much the same. So I'm guessing it's not going to matter which one goes on the bottom, which one goes on the top. But we're going to find that out as we continue to pull all the various bits out. Okay, so we're just making sure all of these cardboard little boxes are empty. This here is the base. There are a couple of types of bases you can get. One has a big, a big round thing and the monitor can be supported on that. I preferred to get this one because it actually clamps to the side of the desk and that's what I prefer to do. Clamp it to the side of the desk. I've got the kind of desk for which that works quite well. Now, we haven't found any screws yet, so I am of the premonition that this is probably where all the screws are going to be. Now before I put that down, I'm going to get rid of all of these boxes. And we're going to remove that to one side. This will probably go into the recycling bin, which is due to go out today. Okay, oh look at this. All sorts of wonderful little gadgets here. Do I know what they have? Do I know what they do? Nope. And this is where I'm going to be pulling out the manual because as they say, when all else fails, read the flaming manual. <laughs> okay. We'll chuck all these little bits and pieces down here for now. Then we will start reading the manual and see what we can do. Now 
everything will stay on the table so at least i've got some idea where to find it you'll notice that it already has some tools and we've got somebody yakman away in the background there okay all right so a couple of hex screws but like i said i'm gonna do mine right now i'm going to pause the video because i need to get something organized to continue with the unboxing okay we're back in business and what we're going to do now is we're going to start putting this darn thing together now one of the things i've opted to use instead of these little fellas is an impact driver my son started using impact drivers in his trade and once he got me using them i got infected by using these little fellas so you could say i'm now an impact driver addict Don't you need light? Uh, you might want to turn some light on yeah thank you all right so i guess it's going to be a matter of which tools i choose i got these from total tools trade quality i may not need trade quality just like i don't need trade quality this is not a trade quality this is a do-it-yourself quality tool and i'm getting that because i only use it probably about once a month at the most unlike my tradie son who uses it every day so he needs something that's going to take the everyday hammering so he has significantly more expensive and more robust impact drivers okay so if i take a look here that tells me it's got two of these little babies so i was correct in my assessment that these two things over here are identical it's just the way that they are folded at the moment which changes the way things are going so i'm going to follow the instructions the way it tells me to do it and it's telling me that there is a couple of bits here that need to be put together and i guess where i get to put them so i can either put them in the lower section or the higher section the, the the place that i get to put these is going to depend largely on how thick the the um, desk is that i'm going to have it clamped to now it turns out that the desk that i'm trying to clamp it to is only about so thick so probably at most maybe about 15 mil uh, maybe a bit thicker than that it's not very thick at all and so as a consequence what we've got here is it's already put down in the lower position which means when i go to clamp it up to the highest level it's not going to be clamped onto the desk properly see that's too wide for the thickness of the desk so it means that i've got to take off the screws that are in here so that i can then remount it and that's what i'm going to do now so we're going to start with the bottom and work our way to the top strangely enough that's how buildings work so it's almost like trying to put a building together okay so i'm going to use an extension here because the extension is going to allow me to get it into here without the tool getting affected too severely by the other bits that i'm going to use now i think this is probably going to do it no so we need a bigger one so that was h five so let's try a h6 if h6 doesn't do it no h6 is going to work okay so hexagonal six millimeter so we're going to put the hexagonal six millimeter on here that's a magnetic fitting so that it's going to just clamp in there and it will stay there it's not going to fall out then i'm going to put that into my impact driver pull out the collar so as it will clip in and that way it can't fall out while i'm doing the work put it into reverse and there we go 
Right, one. And you can see it just makes things a lot quicker. All right, let's put them back in. You'll notice that I've let one screw swap from one side to the other. It shouldn't really matter. They're both the same kind of screw. So now we're going to turn it back in the opposite direction. Hmm. All right, let's try it this way. Going to see if we can get it to screw in a little bit. See if that will. Yep, that works. Okay. Do the same for the other side. Okay. All right. Then we'll put that over the top, slide it in. There we go. Now we're going to screw it all the way in. Okay, so that's in. There we go. Nice and tight. And now I can screw it up much closer as you can see. Yeah, you could clamp it to something pretty thin at this point in time and still something mod moderately thick. So we're going to spin it out. Okay, so that's the first bit. The base is out of the way. It's telling me that I want to get another bit which I've got to find now, there it is, this little bit here, tells me I want to put this on top of this other little baby. So, wants to go that way, and it looks as if it's got these three holes in here, I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but I guess we'll find out in the course of time. Ah, it's got those little plastic lining bits there. So that's all basically just to get it to line up properly so that it will go down and fit properly. And then later on, when I go to use it, it's not gonna move from side to side. Okay. All right, number next one is to get this little vertical piece, put this on here, you know, as you've noticed, this thing here is in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this bit. I won't take them all the way out. Okay, that's it. Okay. So it fell out after all. Ah, and so did the other one. All right. We'll let them sit there. We can put them back in in a moment. Okay. There's the base. There's the three holes, and that's going to go into there, and that's going to get bolted in. All right, let's begin. Now, the question is, which piece are we going to put in? It's looking for bits that it says belong to H, H times three. Okay, let's find H3. That'll be these fellas over here. Okay. Yep, that's them. All right, let's pop them out. Okay, now this one here is a slightly smaller one. And I suspect I may have to get a tool that doesn't belong to this. No, that one's too big. So that's no good to us. And we don't have any other tools that I'm aware of that will fit. So I'm going to have to go out and grab another tool set. And it's going to do the job. Just hold on for a moment. Okay, back again. I've got myself a few more tools. Uh... I think my selection tools is going to come out of here because I've got a whole bunch of things here which are as old as the hills. I forget how many years ago I got these. Look at that. That's a dirty great big driving bit. 
I was thinking about buying some other hex keys, but with all of these bits, I'm probably not going to need them. But I do need a smaller one. That looks like a six. But I need still smaller ones yet. So we'll find them eventually. Okay. As you can see, some of these are handling some fairly massive. Come on, out you come. There's a smaller one getting close to size. That one's too small. I hope they don't do anything like come into contact with each other. It's not what I need at the moment. I think we've got the right one this time. And this one says it's a four millimeter, so this would be a H4. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put this onto here. Okay, now to get that onto there, I'm going to have to use this little fella, which is going to be a different beast completely again. We're going to take this one off. That one can go back on later when I get back to the standard size ones. We're going to just see exactly where we are. Okay, we'll see if that works. Going in the wrong direction, that doesn't help. Okay. Right. Ah, that's good. Yeah, I'm not going to tighten them all up. It gives me a bit of room to move first. And now I'm going to put this one in and see what we get. Okay. Okay, that's just tightened up, nipped it up. Actually, I might just take that off a fraction. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. It just lets me move things around a bit. As you can see, it can move around slightly, and I want that to do so as I can make sure that this hole is going to line up appropriately. Ah, that doesn't help. Okay. Here's one. Okay, all right, okay, done. So that's all in nice and tight. Now you can see why I like impact drivers. Okay, now I can probably put all of these other screws back in, which means going back to the six, so we'll pull that one off. Put that one on, and like we said, we'll go back. I'm going to just start these by hand this time, and then I can tighten them up afterwards. Okay, beautiful. Put that in. We're good to go. Whoop. Okay. All right, so done. All good and tight. Now I stop almost immediately, it starts to rattle because I don't want to over tighten them. Not particularly interested in that playing that kind of game. Okay. Let's go back to the destructions. Okay, so that's on, that's on. We've got
Okay. Right. Now, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do next. What is J? J is that little bit there. Where does J go? Let's take a look. It's this fella here. Where are you supposed to go? Oh, does this tell me that I might have done something wrong? Can't see what it would be though. See, that can come off there, that's fine. Is that for a different type of setup? See, that's time we already put that in there. Oh, that's for a bolt through. So this one here is for a clamp on, and this one here is for a bolt through. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, pretty sure that's what it's all about. And I'm not particularly interested in the bolt through. Although, with the holes that are in that, that is certainly possible. Not particularly interested. Yeah, no. Okay, we can skip that bit. So we're going to go to, that's why it says 2B1 and 2B2. So that means that, that step two is just all the alternatives. Whereas the first one's got 1A, 1B, blah, 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 blah. And anyway, we've got that far. Okay. So number three. So now we're going to look at some little bits like this it's saying that this is bit F and bit F is supposed to go in first so let's do that as you can see it's fairly tight now the question is did that go the right way up is there such a thing as up for this it looks like there is and if I've read the picture correctly we've managed to put it the right way on so right now, we'll bring it down. And it appears as if it should get fairly close to the bottom, although probably up here is a little better. What that's all about, I'm not really sure. But this is definitely going to be the cable clamp. It's going to try and hold, keep all the cables together for the things that are being put onto the What's his name? These are the visa brackets that are going to go on the back of the monitor later on. Hmm. All right, so we're going to put two of these arms on. And it doesn't seem to matter which one goes on first. So I'll grab my friend the box cutter. There we go. Now you can see why they zip lock the whole thing. The whole thing is just going to spring out. And now that it has sprung out, it's not going to go back in. Okay, that's that bit done. There's a bit of cardboard in there, and I don't want that to be there. So I'm going to have to remove it. And the only way I can do that at the moment is to... No, that's not going to go in. That might take a H5. Yeah, H5 is going to be it. So we'll drop that in. Okay, so loosen it. 
Okay. Yeah, that's better. Now let's pop that out. Don't want that cardboard in there. And what can I do here? Oh yes, can I swing that out. But I think just for room purposes right now, I'm going to leave that in there. Okay. All right. So we're going to put the first one in. What's going on? Why am I hearing rattling noises? Ah, there's our rattler. Okay. All right. Now, I think I'll just put a bit of tightness on it for now. Ah, it might help if I put the right size in. Okay. There we go. That'll do. That looks... Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, we're going to have to tighten her up a little bit more. Still not tight enough. Okay. All right, put that back in there. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Now it's tight and this can move around as it needs to. But we're not going to leave that in its final position for now. Okay, so we'll put that out there now, I think, just to get it out of the way. And it looks like the instructions are telling us to put the second one on. So by the time we're done, we're going to have two of these little babies on here. Hmm. Okay. And once again, we've got another one that springs out, springs into action. Now, what a lot of people don't, don't realise is that the tightness of the spring is dependent on this little thing in here. It's got plus and minus. So presumably minus means that if you turn it around to the left, it's going to loosen and make this, this part here less stressful. And it, it, it's good for lighter monitors. Heavier monitors, you're going to want to swing it clockwise around to the right. Okay, so we're going to get this on. Okay. At the moment, I really got no idea. Oh, yeah, now I suddenly get a bit of an idea. I need to loosen this one off and swing it around the other way. Okay. The reason being is that when I put it on the desk, I'm going to want the monitors to face somewhat in that general direction. Okay, so back. Just check again. Yeah, that's tight enough. And this one is probably better if we put it up here. Yeah, yeah, that works. And that helps the monitor to go up a bit higher. Yeah. So it's not clashing with the other one. Okay. Okay. So that's basically the base of the darn thing. So now, 
I dare say we're going to be getting close to monitor time. Now, the monitor I'm grabbing is actually a hand-me-down. Someone else gave it to me because it wasn't working properly on their system. And it won't work properly on mine either, but it's going to be good enough for my purposes. It saves me having to try and go out and buy another one. Gives me a bit of extra real estate on my desktop. <sighs> okay, it's now time to grab the monitor concern and start doing some preparations accordingly. All right, let's get back to it. As you can see, since I stopped the uh, taping before, I've dragged out the old hand-me-down video screen. As you can see, it's got four holes in the back. If you see a video monitor with four holes in the back, these can be used on these kinds of monitors and of course others. Why is this swinging around? I don't want it to do that. I'm gonna have to tighten her up a bit more. See that one's plenty tight enough, but this one needs a bit more tightening. So let's do that right now. Let's hope. Yep, that stops it from moving around. <coughs> okay. So what we're going to do here, we're going to undo the screws on this one. Hoping to stay with the impact driver. So, yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, this will move. So I'll move it back as far as I can. And that will work. Here we go. Ah, wrong way. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that should let me get this bottom bit off. We'll see whether or not we can get it right off. Looks like I might be struggling a little bit here. I'll grab some other little bits and pieces here that can help me do the job properly. No. Oh, this might be the one. Yeah, that'll do. Hmm. Seems like I've forgotten how this went together. See if that goes off this way. Hmm. Looks like 
like this can take a bit of doing. I might see if undoing this is going to help me find out anything else. There we go. Just tighten the slide down. All right, that comes out that off. See if that screwdriver give me a bit more leverage down this way. Here we go. That's better. Yep, that works. <clears throat> Some people work off by the maxim. If it won't move, force it. And if it breaks, it need didn't need it replacing anyway. I've got a slightly different paradigm on this whole thing. Now unfortunately, I don't have at the moment the gap filler for this. I'm pretty sure I put it away somewhere. Can't remember exactly where. Now, we're going to grab one of these brackets, stick it on the back of this fella. Now if you take a look at the original stand-up bit, we're going to put it on the top one and I've got my reasons for doing that. Okay. All right. Let's swing that out. Oh, good. We got rid of that bit of cardboard, which I'd forgotten about at the time. And we'll grab that bracket. And you'll see it's got a sliding spot, and that's going to slip down the outside here. Make sure it goes in properly. There we go. And you'll notice it's got a hole on the top here. We're going to be putting a screw into there. And that's going to stop it from sliding off when we don't want it to. If we decide we want to move the thing around when it's mounted, the last thing you do is when you go to lift the monitor up is for it to slide up. So it's going to have a screw put down there after it has been fastened to the back of the monitor. So for the time being, we're just going to make sure we know which way is up. And at the moment, we know that that is the way that we want it to go. Now, these holes come in at two different settings, which is why you have this inside set of holes and these outside set of holes. We're about to find out which set of holes it's going to fit on and it fits on the inside set of holes. Okay and at this point in time we go looking for the ones that are going to do the job for us. And at this point in time I don't think I'm going to need this thing anymore and it's going to be causing me more harm than good so let's go back to the instructions to see which set of screws we should be using so we are now at the point here which I've just pointed out step five and it is giving us some instructions on how to put it in if you have a look it says here you don't want to have it going all the way in, otherwise it's going to bang up against things inside the TV. And that's quite possible. The other thing that they might be trying to get us to consider here is it's got a tick. It says you've got to put a washer in and then have it go down on the TV. So it's also got a spacer. So it looks like the spacer may go under here. It, there's no reason why it couldn't. And then you can put this on top of the spacer. 
alternatively you can put this put this down here put the spaces on top and then put washers on top of that now uh, the other thing is it's telling us we want MA bolts and MC bolts and ME is the washer right let's take a look and see what they got on offer here washers is there any spaces there's no real spaces closest we've got is these fellas and i wouldn't don't know that i would call those spaces it says mf what's mf for oh yeah i see all right it's got to go underneath if we're going to use the spaces because of the size of them i have to go underneath which means that they would have to sit on here and they, obviously they're built been made to sit around the outside of that so it puts the force directly on there not on the, the the plastic bit in here which presumably because it's fairly small it's going to be fairly fragile whereas the flat bit spreads the area and makes it a lot more robust okay all right what did it say mc mc is these ones here this one's also mc so that'll be for the second lot so this will be for one monitor this will be for another monitor and it looks to me as if oh no no they're all there's different sizes of screws here i guess we'll find out which ones are ma and mb so that's telling us what the MAs are. Oh, okay. The MAs go on the... Looks like... No? It looks like they can be used. So it's really going to depend on the size of the hole here. As to whether... As to which one we use. Whether it be MA or MC. It's also an MB. But I don't see anything here How recommending. Are going? We're getting there. Hmm. Getting there. Oh. And has your partner in crime disappeared? No. Oh, she's disappeared as herself. So I guess that answers the question. Okay. What I'm going to do. Get my box cutter again. We'll just pop out some some of these screws and see what they can do for us. Okay. Maybe a bit longer. Yeah, that'll do. Oop. Something took off on me. It's caught a bracket. Okay, let's see if that will fit. It looks like it does. Hold on, hold on. It really feels as if it should. All right, I'm going to get that screwdriver out that I had before. I'm going to pop it out to this side. I really want to find out, does this one fit? So it would seem like it's too big. Okay, we're going to drop it down to a smaller one. Now those are long. And I think they're too long if you ask me. So I'm going to go for the smaller one. Okay. So we're going to crack open this one. And we'll see if this will give us a better result. Okay. Oh, that feels a lot better. 
There we go, look at that. Now can you see why I use the impact driver all the time? Okay, so those are the ones we're going to use. Now, regardless of what we end up doing, we're going to still need these little spaces, and I'm going I'm intending to use those. Now if I don't need them, I won't mind that at all. Give, give us a bit of time and we'll see what the outcome is. See that? Oh beautiful, look at that. It just sits around there very nicely. One, two, three, four. I can feel one of those ditties coming on. There we go. All right. Now, <coughs> we'll go grab that. We want that to go on this way. I'm going to put these washers on. I reckon we should still use them. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I could use something. That space is still good for something. Okay. All right, that works. Okay, dropping these washers into my hand. And we can put one on each spot. Now, you'll notice that when you put these on, there's a round side and there's a flat side. And it all is dependent upon the way that the punch punches out the sheet metal, puts it in. And I always like to put the round side of the washer facing outwards toward the screw okay now we're going to get those screws where did I have them there they are there's one of them anyway and I need to get the rest of them out I think I may not have got them out yet I will use this There we go. All right. I think the rest of them are still in here. Are they? Yes, they are. One, two, three. There's our problem. It's too far out of line. Okay. Sometimes if I do this, ah oh yes, makes my fingers sticky enough to make it hold on. Okay.
pretty pretty uh, tempted just to tighten it up by hand I think I will ah there we go all right Okay, so this gadget is ready to play. Now, first thing I want to do is go and put this up. I've made a space for it and as you can see I've got a nice thin spot and I've got to put this in here right Tighten this up until it grabs the desk. There we go. Now it's starting to tighten up. Here we go. All right. This is going to make life interesting. Got to do a bit of tidying up around here. Oh, I found some memory sticks. I was complaining about not being able to find any earlier on today. All of a sudden they start appearing. more tidying up to be done okay now he's hoping I think this will work yeah yep the other one is not going to be used for now as this particular monitor is useful for its own purposes okay hmm okay I know what I've got to do there we go that gives me a little bit more room I may have to in the end do something about that all right now this is the question is this monitor Come on, why are you doing that to me? It's gone off to one side a bit. Well, we may have to rely on the force of the monitor to, to move it around. So we're going to grab this monitor now and spring it up on there. Now, as you can see, I've developed a bit of a liking. Hmm. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to stretch it all the way out here so I can see what I'm doing from behind. There we go. Beautiful. Huh. 
Aha. Uh -huh. He said. Now, yeah, that works. Once you put the monitor on, you can swing it around to your heart's content. I'm going to pull it forward. See that? We're going to have to do something about that. Because it's pushing down. The weight is pushing down on the... On the... Uh, okay. On the support. So we're going to do what I said before, which I explained before. We're going to tighten up this thing. And it said to turn it in the plus direction. Well, it didn't say it, but that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I think it's a six. I'll take a six and try it. If the six works, then we're going to... Yep, six is it. Okay. Um, I'm very tempted just, just to grab some of these other bits. I've got a six here. And one of these will be a six. I think it'll be this one here. Yeah. I'm going to do it with this fella, do it by hand. I did enjoy using the impact driver to put the darn thing together. There we go. Ooh. Ah. And it doesn't want to turn either direction. Okay. Looks like it's, it is impact driver time after all. see what that will do for us okay Interesting. The minus is telling us to go in another way. Now the other thing that's happening is I notice that this one's not tight enough. Okay. Yep, that's better. Okay. Alright. Now we've got it to stay up there. Can probably get it to retreat back over the... Yep. That's where we want it to be. But the other thing that's a bit of a problem is it's... tending to... going to tighten this one up Something interesting happened. Something let go that shouldn't have. Oh, I see. Yeah, all right. That's okay. Okay. Now, the last but not least is the bolt that goes on the top there. So we'll go and get the instructions. Ah, 
So it's a thumb screw. It's one of these little babies. So this one can probably go with this fella. He can stay with him. I just had an idea. These screws, I can lose them. If I put them back in the bottom, at least I can find them again. Hmm. I think I'll do that. Now, will this one fit? Yes, it will. I'll put them back in. So I'll do that now. Actually, just take it off for now before I tighten it up. And put the screws back in from this angle. It's going to be a lot easier to do this way. Yep. Yeah. Well, somebody's making a lot of noise next door. When we first came here, they used to play drums. But whoever used to play drums must have moved out of the house because you haven't heard them play them for a very long time. Okay, here we go. Just let those screws sit there. That way, if they are ever needed again, they at least can be found I might be able to find the, the br bracket that's used to cover the darn thing up. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to have to pull the darn thing out and pop it back on again. You might be able to see what we're doing this time. Yeah, there we go. Now, it says to put this thumb screw in, which I don't mind. It's going to save a whole lot of effort otherwise. Here we go. Nice and tight. That's not going to come off now. We are now ready to connect this little baby. Yeah. I'm going to have to turn this machine off. How do you like that? Okay. We're going to turn it off. Oh, no, that's not what I want. We want to power off. Okay, there's nothing on the go at the moment. No long... Yeah. Actually, that's an idea. I noticed when I brought this up before. Yeah, restart. No, we'll cancel. I don't want to restart, I want to power off. So we'll do that. Power off. Okay. All right. We'll leave that be. While that's happening, we'll go and grab the cables that I need. I thought I didn't have a cable, but I do found out that I do have the one that I need, especially for signal. That's going to do the job I want. And this is a display port to a HDMI. Okay, looks like he's going to take a little while to go, which is going to make me impatient. But while that's happening, we're going to 
get a cable up in here. There we go. This should be it. Ah, no, that's the right one. There we go. Got it in. Now this here should go into this up here. So I'm surmising. There we go. Goes in there. Now it's got to continue. Okay. Into there and down there. There we go. Now the next bit it's got to go into it's in there so we're going to pop it in there actually we'll get the power cable and get it sorted as well You can see this place is a bit of a mess at the moment one of the reasons is i've had the uh, monitor sitting there for quite a while waiting for this unboxing event to occur today so while we are doing things that's a headphone to go in there we don't need that Oh, feed that up into there as well. Oh, way too easy. So I'll put that on that side. That on that side, and then we can run that down there and put this back on top. There we go. Whoop! It kind of fell off. We're going to have to. Adjust that a little. There we go. There. Now, and to make things all nice and tidy, pop it into this clip here. One and Two. There we go. Then we get to drop this. Goes into the back of the computer. This goes off to the circuit board. Now I'm going to climb down underneath. And grab hold of this fella <coughs> and then hopefully find something to plug him into. If I don't, I'm gonna have to find a sp create a space. Okay. It's been a while since this is ah there we go. Last spot on this switchboard. What I really need to do is get another switchboard. There we go. Okay, so that's in. And this is hanging. I guess it's always going to hang. Now, we need to get this other cable, display port cable. Drop it into the last spot on the monitor. Out you come. And it always goes in. Hmm. Upside down. This way up. Notice all the dust I've got in here. Guess what that's going to mean. We're going to have a bit of a clean up at some stage. <coughs> Okay, so there you have it folks, hmm, 
let's see if we can switch it on oh look at that see what I said this is worse So it looks like it's going to have to be replaced at some stage. Hmm. It's rather disappointing. Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't that bad before. I wonder how it got like that. nothing in there to indicate why it should have got like that oh very disappointing we'll use it uh, because it's still better than nothing okay well that's it people so now you can see we've got that extra screen up and running